everybody. Take a seat. It looks like it belongs to someone very heroic and brave. Someone like the hero Beowulf. A long time ago, Beowulf travelled to the rescue of the people in Denmark, a country across the sea, who were being attacked by dragons and monsters. Beowulf tackles a big monster called Grendel to keep the people of Denmark safe. Then, Grendel's mother appears to wreak revenge for the death of her son. Beowulf is the only person strong enough to stop her. The only trouble is, she lives in a lair right at the bottom of the sea. He takes his fantastic sword with him, but will it be enough? Are you sitting comfortably? Well, let's go with Beowulf to find the horrible monster at the bottom of the sea. Are you ready? discovered he was down in some cavern. 
where no water whatever anywise harmed him, and the clutch of the current could not come anear him, since the roof hole prevented brightness a gleaming. Firelight he saw, flashing resplendent. The good one saw then the sea bottom's monster. The mighty mere woman he made a great onset. With weapon of battle, his hand not desisted from striking. That war blade struck on her head then, a battle song greedy. The stranger perceived then, the sword would not bite, her life would not injure. Oh, Beowulf's sword is not working. Is he going to lose the battle with the monster? In the cavern he spies some old treasure with a beautiful big sword. I wonder what's going to happen. Then he saw mid the war gems a weapon of victory. Ancient giant sword of edges a doughty, glory of warriors, of weapons twas choicest. Only twas larger than any man else was able to bear to the battle encounter. The good and splendid work of the giants. He grasped then the sword hilt, knight of the skildings. Bold and battle grim, brandished his ring sword. Hopeless of living, hotly he smote her, that the fiend woman's neck firmly had grappled. Fate cursed body, she fell to the ground then. The hand sword was bloody. The hero exulted. Of the good one, the grey herd together held converse. The hoary of head that they hope not to see again. Then many concluded the mere wolf had killed him. The ninth hour came then. The Ness Edge departed the bold mooded Skildings. The gold friend of heroes homeward betook him. The strangers sat down then, soul sick, sorrowful, the sea waves regarding. They wished, and yet we not, the well-loved friend lord, to see any more. The sword blade began then, the blood having touched it, contracting and shriveling with battle icicles. was a wonderful marvel that it melted entirely. Like as to ice when the father unbindeth the bond of the frost and unwindeth the wave bands. The seaman's defender came swimming to land then. Doughty of spirit rejoiced in his sea gift, the bulky burden which he bore in his keeping. The excellent vassals advanced then to meet him. To God they were grateful, were glad in their chieftain, that to see him safe and sound was granted them. The king and the country were so pleased to see Beowulf. How would you feel if you faced a monster as terrible as Grendel's mother? I'm sure you'd all be very brave like Beowulf. Although, don't forget that monsters and dragons are just part of stories. They're not real. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs>